JMS Flower Farms has been helping grape growers protect their vines from insects and fungal diseases with their exclusive product, JMS Stylet Oil, since 1992. Visit www.stylitoil.com today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine and reporting to you from Paso Robles where the Wine Symposium Group held their annual Central Coast Insights on the wine industry. One of the speakers at today's event was Audra Cooper from Turrentine Brokerage who talked about current industry trends in the Central Coast. It's a great time to be in the Central Coast as a grape grower and as also a grape buyer. Uh, growers are enjoying a great time in the marketplace where prices are on the rise. However, we did have a light harvest in 2015 and that is tough for everyone's pocketbooks, uh, particularly for the great buyers with increasing prices. However, we're doing things really well here on the Central Coast. The 15 to $25 category is an area that we are hitting very hard with Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and Cab as well as Red Blenders. We're doing a great job with those items. Also the niche varieties such as Grenache and Syrah and Mouvedre and the GSMs is a great trend here in the Central Coast and things that we're doing currently very well. And looking to the future, obviously drought, water concerns are a huge issue, um, something that we continue to tackle and we don't have an answer today. As well as redevelopment, we have a lot of vines in the ground, particularly in the Paso Robles region that was planted in the 90s and early 2000s with not the best plant material and so we're seeing decline in overall yields. The new plantings are coming on to full production, will be in full production by 2018, and so we're enjoying some new acreage coming in to production that buyers are snapping up as we go along here. In regards to concerns, uh, whether you're a grower or a winery here in the Central Coast, is the balancing act of supply. Particularly in Monterey County, San Luis Obispo, and Santa Barbara County, the three major growing regions of the Central Coast, we've had significant acreage go on the ground over the last four years. However, we've had a lot of rate of decline on some of the older vines, and so we're going to see a balancing act moving forward. There is concern of whether or not we're going to be in shortage or excess moving forward, and obviously Mother Nature, being in agriculture, gives us uh, averages through extremes. So it's anybody's game or guess as to what's going to happen over the next few years regarding supply in the market, but my bet would be there's going to be a balancing act between the older vines and the new plantings. Thank you, Audra. Learn more about the proceedings of today's meeting in the coming issue of American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.